In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can find the equation of parallel lines. You may recall that parallel lines must have the same slope. Once we know that slope of our parallel line, we can simply use the equation y equals mx plus b. So let's take a look at an example. Here we see that the equation of, we want to find the equation of a line that is parallel to y equals negative three-fourths x plus two, and we also want this line to go through the point eight comma one, negative eight comma one. Well, if parallel lines have the same slope, we need to find the slope of our parallel equation. If we think about y equals mx plus b, we can quickly identify m, the slope, is negative three-fourths. And since parallel lines, let me move this over with our line. And since parallel lines have the same slope, our line has the exact same slope of negative three-fourths. Notice as we did this, we really didn't care what the b was. It doesn't matter what b is when we're talking about parallel and perpendicular. All we're looking for is the slope, which is negative three-fourths. We now have a slope and a point, which has x comma y in it. We just need to find the y-intercept. If y equals mx plus b, We'll use the point y is one equals m, the slope negative three-fourths, x, which is negative eight, plus b. Well, let's reduce negative eight over four is negative two. So we've got one equals negative two times negative three is six plus b. Subtract the six from both sides and we see that b is equal to negative five. So, we've got our b, negative five. We've got our slope, negative three-fourths. The equation, y equals mx plus b, is y equals m, the slope, negative three-fourths, x plus b, the y-intercept of negative five. This equation, then, is parallel to negative three-fourths x plus two, but it also goes through the point we wanted of negative eight comma one. Let's try another example where we do essentially the same thing. In this example, we're gonna find the equation of a line parallel to two x minus five y equals three that goes through the point five comma three. Well, this one's a little different in that we can't really tell in the parallel line what the slope is unless we first put it in slope-intercept form. We do that by solving for the y. First, subtract two x from both sides. We get negative five y equals, we like to put the x's first, negative two x plus three. Divide each term by the negative five. And we get y equals positive two fifths, negative divided by negative x, Positive divided by a negative is a negative, three-fifths. Now, what do we care about on this parallel line? We care about the slope. So if y equals mx plus b, we're looking for the slope. The slope here is two-fifths. We really don't care what the y-intercept is. Parallel line has a slope of two-fifths. Parallel lines have the same slope, so our slope is also going to be two-fifths. We just need to find the y-intercept, which we can quickly calculate out of y equals mx plus b. We've got a point that's x comma y. That'll help us find the b. So y is three equals m. The slope is two-fifths x, which is five, plus b. And a nice, the fives divide out, so we have three is equal to two plus b.
and finally get the b alone by subtracting 2, and b is equal to 1. So finally, our equation, always going back to y equals mx plus b, we know the slope, we know the y-intercept, y is equal to 2 fifths x plus 1. Parallel lines have the same slope. Once we know the slope, we can quickly find the y-intercept.